What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am A. Timothy Brock. Let's continue some Hogwarts Legacy. We're gonna just... We're gonna just do whatever today. We don't have a specific goal. We're just gonna go all over the place. And whatever we can't fit in today's episode, it's gonna be in the next. So, without further ado, let's get this underway and see what trouble we can get into. Boom. Oh, come on, son. Ain't no match for me. What you guys up to, huh? We pick this up. Oh, I'm liking this game. Alright, hold on. Need all the Dallas school uniform. Let me see what that looks like. No, I already got what I want. I'm wearing I'm wearing what stylish guys. Alright, let's go. Oh, there's someone over here. There's still someone around. Can't let that guy go get away. Awesome, awesome. Gotta, gotta go after it. Gotta go after that guy. We ain't finished. Boom, son. You thought I was done? What's over here. That's how we do it up in these streets, man. Look at that. Oh, suave striped attire, eh? Okay. Hello there. Look at that. That's where Hagrid... Hagrid would live but this is way before Hagrid's time look at that can I go inside here hello let me open that up anybody home nice nice bruh now let's go this looks intriguing. It does look intriguing. Look at the, look at the water. Can I go swimming? Can I get in the water? Oh, I can swim. Look at that. I'm swimming, dog. Let me talk to this dude real quick. I just want to, just want to talk. That's one. Oh crap. Whoops. Whoops. Ah. Here, you know, we'll talk to you in a minute. We'll talk to you later. Let's stay on the let's stay on the path. What up? It is good to see you, my friend. It is. Hello Natty, how are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the Isn't moment. Isn't that right? We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. We did not speak about at it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. I can tell her. I won't tell they Sebastian, though. Something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A portkey brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. 
Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. <laughs> and I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What Good job, of stand? Natty. Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and Uncle I are to Billy Land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Halo is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Thank you, Nat. Be on your guard. Awesome, awesome. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. Oh, we're gonna stop these boys. My research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. Oh, he would. Students, you can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Silver Let me in, bro. I know you are. He said, You will not survive this fight. Let me in, bro. Get out of here. Oh, okay. Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes. Oh, you will, hon. I'm not going anywhere with you. Tell Rookwood to find me a cell. Jeez Louise. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. And so close to Hogwarts. All right, what's up? Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist. Awesome, Nora. How, how are Merlin's you? Merlin's work and life. Respond. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know. And I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here oh, centuries wow. ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. 
Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Sweet is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Nice. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. Oh, oh, you're giving me a gift. This trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have Thank some other sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Okie dokie. Disappeared. What shall I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendio. Oh, what's this? Holy crap, look at that. That's cool. What a day. I can hardly believe it. Hmm. What's up, Nora? I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, yeah. I've got yes, what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Yes, mum. Oh, did you hear about the new cell? Go down the stairs. Off bomb, let's go. What are you up to now? In your bin there. Let's go. This is my time to shine. Uh oh. Yeah, let's start with quest, please. Oh boy, here we are. Good morning, Professor Garlic. Am I not in my uniform? I was being so cool. Oh, here. I don't wear my class uniform. A little treat for your auntie. Oh, I like this professor. Oh, hello. Hello. Class, please welcome the newest. I'm gonna get this teacher in trouble. We do look forward to growing together. Yes. Yes, indeed, lady. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. I don't know what it is about this you. This year will be filled with enchantment and But you are interesting. But the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing look ball. Don't look at her like that, Sebastian, well, or you become dangerous. Today we 
will be acquainting ourselves with <laughs> the mellifluous tuba known as the mandrake root. Mandrake. Oh, we're gonna need some. Uh, we're gonna need that. The. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends. I need some earmuffs. Shall we? First, let's protect our ears. Thank you. Please, please, please. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to become a Neville. Now. Oh, I'm definitely re. Oh, I'm definitely having a marathon. I need to get the books though. I need to. I'll get the audio books or something. Let's go. Pull this bad boy up. Oh no, my god, this guy. These guys are insane. I bet you Chris Motionless could do better than them, though. Because he's the man. Alright, let's put him back down. Freaking Mandrake. <laughs> now what? Like a warm, dirty blanket. Putting the mandrake right at ease. That's where it belongs. Repairer. See how great magic is. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. I need to know how magic became and in into an existence in this world. Like, like, was it a, a gift from God to some people, or like, what's the situation here? <laughs> Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already yes, let's go plant them together. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't That's right. easy to spare one on such late notice. Oh, teacher. Now, I'm just a fifth year. And you can to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Okay. Let's see uh, how to balance my all the time I, I got all the time I need right here with you and me or roses. Excuse me chump. I'm the teacher's this favorite restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wigan weld potion as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class There we go Done once it can be harvested your Disney will be ready to use in Wigan weld potion I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that now what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. Yes, ma'am. Let's go You'll do that. Find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. Okay. The cabbages cool. do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. All right. I'm looking at him. I'm sorry. What do I need to do? Garlic said she wanted you to have a go at tending the cabbages. Give them some time to chomp and whatnot. Nothing to it, really. Just toss some of those Chinese chomping cabbages out. <laughs> You'll see fairly quickly why we call them that. Look at that. But they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Will hurt me? Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My yeah. Kind of plants. Pretty crazy. Like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. 
Trolls and hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. How's it going, buddy? Take I like time. you. I I'll like see you. Back you. In class. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Ooh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, <laughs> as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. We're gonna we're gonna res it up. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. That's right. <laughs> I like my new teachers, you know what I'm saying? You can teach me a couple things. Ah. The ministry guarding the school. Professor Black would never allow you Where's my Snape? I need a Snape. Who did? Oh. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Heck yeah. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Yeah. Please begin. For show, for show. <clears throat> Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I'm loving this. Yo, wizard, Dimmy. Oh, there we go. We get now. Now I'll give it a good drink. I'm dying. <laughs> I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Drink it. It's poison. Mm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rare nice. ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Nice, dude. Nice, nice. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be right. My parents considered keeping me home okay. from school. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. <laughs> ah, yes. I should say no. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect hey, I'm a better ginger than you, so you watch yourself. You're as clever as I'm just kidding. <laughs> I simply need a single full <laughs> clever. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me.
That'd be nice. A Fwoopa feather. As long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwoopa feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Keep your potion stations organized and... Can I steal off up in this piece? Potion should not be that color, Miss McDowell. What's up, boy? Here's the fwoopa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your endurance potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Nice, nice, nice. Should you chop the dead meat or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Get to see Duras potion going. Five, twenty-four, twenty-three. Got twenty seconds. We got some time to go do stuff. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Give me some of that. Yeah, that's gonna take a minute. And now we add the mallow sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Professor Sharp must have learned a lot. Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Oh, yeah. bro. Not again. Dragon Dark, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't do that. That's my problem. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. Did. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. All right. Well, let me go back to my cauldron then. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Nice. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wigan Weld potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. Uh, pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well done. I am the chosen one. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. All right. Cool, cool, Send cool. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. 
wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. <laughs>